right, hello everybody. Today is March 26, 2023. And today I'm gonna to go to Sidoville, Ohio, and I'm gonna check out the 1917 Sidoville Bridge. Uh, it's a historical bridge and it's got a historical marker, so I'm gonna go check it out. And uh, just a small little note, Jenny is not with me today. Uh, she went back home for a while and that is in Taiwan. So she's clear across the world right now, but uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. So, all right, come along. I am on US 52 and it takes you right up to Sidoville out of New Boston. And you can actually see the bridge itself from US 52. And from this view, you can actually see the bridge crossing the Ohio River. And it is a sight to see. Very, very beautiful bridge. And along the way to see the actual bridge, stopped off Tim Hortons, got me an extra large coffee. Just went straight black this time. And uh, cost about $2.70. Uh, really need the extra caffeine, I guess, today, so I went the extra large. And this is the 1917 Sidoville Bridge. And this bridge was designed and built by two famous American civil engineers, Gustav Lindenthal, the consulting engineer, and David Bernard Steinman, the designer in stress analysis. And this is a double track railroad bridge of twin spans, each 775 feet long. It remained until 1935, the longest continuous truss bridge in the world and stands today as the prototype for continuous structures. And this particular bridge, its construction marked a major advance in the art of bridge engineering and was a pioneer achievement in continuous stress analysis. In beauty of design, size, and erection, techniques it stands as a landmark of progress in man's mastery of his environment and this particular bridge does have a historical marker it was erected in 1965 by the ohio historical society and the marker number is 2-73 the erection method of this bridge was adventurous because one side of the main span was built with false work to keep it in balance until the other half could be built out using the cantilever method, which brought the bridge into balance. The bridge had to be designed with parts that anticipated bending under dead and live loads. As a result, during construction before the full load of the bridge was being applied to the structural parts, some connections required special jacking to pull them into alignment to allow for rivets to be driven. This is the historical marker for the Sidoville Bridge, 1917. And it does say the Ohio Historical Society, 1965. And it appears to be the second marker applied here. And there's your county right there. And I must say on ground level, the pillars are massive. Once again, if you're in a car or something just driving by, you don't get to uh, actually appreciate it. But uh, on foot, it changes everything. And this is a view underneath the bridge here. Won't be able to get under the bridge as much as I want to, but uh, this is a good view. The engineering is amazing.
pretty nice to see 1917 design and architecture all right that was the 1917 bridge in Southville, Ohio I hope you enjoyed that I wish I could get closer to the bridge itself and get under it and climb up on it and everything, but it's uh, surrounded by private property, so I wanted to be cautious on that front. Um, if you don't mind, please subscribe, leave comments, ring the bell, and most of all, thank you for watching. And hopefully, Jenny will be back soon, and we'll be doing some more videos together. It's it's definitely better with her for me, so I enjoy it much more. But uh, that that aside, uh, thank you so much for watching. All right, bye bye.